Pterodactyl here. Today I'm going to do a review on this here Toro Power Clear 60 volt battery powered snowblower. Now Toro gave me this snowblower to do a review on. And when I mean gave it to me, that's just what they did. They gave it to me for doing the review. So this is mine. So let's read what it says on the box. Easy to start, easy to maintain, easy to use. Well, I would hope it'd be easy to start. It's got a battery. Clears down to the pavement. Throw snow where you want it. This particular model comes with a 7.5 amp hour battery. Now they have another version of this that comes with two batteries, but they're six amp hour batteries. And then you can also just buy the snowblower itself with no battery because they have a couple of other tools, a couple of walk behind mowers that are 60 volt and I believe they have a blower that's 60 volt and the battery works in all of them. So you can buy just the snowblower with no battery. So let's unbox it. All right, let's open the box. I gotta get out my $200 knife. There it is. There she is. The Toro Power Clear 21E or E21. So I take it this is the battery. We're going to need to use the $200 knife again. Look at we're getting two unboxing videos in one. Unbox the snow blower. Now I'm unboxing the battery. It's got a handle on it. Force flex power system. It's heavy. So there's the battery. Let's set that aside. Now let's remove some of these packing materials. Something here must be for the chute control. Put that to the side. Just up the handle. And here's the booklet. It's in a couple different languages. Looks like French and English. Alright, let's tighten up the handle here. Hold this back. There's something here, part of the chute. And then now the snow blower. When we lift it out, let's see how heavy this thing is. Oh, not that heavy. Get this plastic bag off. There's a knob here, one on the other side. Let's get this saran wrap off. More little protectors. Try to press this one. Come on, get off of it. Come on, get off of there. It's got a metal auger 
pretty, pretty tight. No rubber, but it is pretty tight to the to the machine. And it looks like it's replaceable, like these metal pieces are replaceable. So that's good. Now we just gotta figure out how to put the shoe down. So these side panels are metal, but the back here is plastic, and this is plastic down here, the scraper bar. So we got a metal auger, metal sides, and plastic back here. So to install this chute, clip that over that, get it over that post, get it hooked on there, and then take a screwdriver and push this tab down. And there's your dinner. Now you want to face this forward. It's got an arrow on it here that lines up with this mark here. And then take this rod with the handle up and it just goes right through here. And then push it straight in and then it should snap right in. You should hear it click. It's as simple as that. And then you can just pull it back out if you need to for storage. So just slide it in. Make sure this is lined up. And then you just push it in. That's it. Pretty simple to put together. Oh look, another box. This is a triple unboxing video. Look at there. $200 knife, where are you? Here I am. What's in here? Parts, screws, nuts, bolts, plastic bag. Oh, it's the battery charger. And it looks like you can mount it to the wall. That's nice. You could set it on a bench or table or mount it to the wall. So the battery has a little indicator on it, a little button, and it'll tell you how much juice is in the battery. We only got one bar. So you're going to need to charge the battery before you use it. So we're going to go ahead, plug in the charger, and charge the battery. So you simply just take the battery and slide it over this. There's a little fan in there. So green flashing means it's charging. Alright, we'll come back later when it's... 100% charged. So these metal edges that I talked about, Toro calls them drift cutters, and it's supposed to help go through the heavier snow, because this is a push snow blower. It's not self-propelled like the ones with the rubber on it, kind of help propel it. So they claim that by having these metal edges and this patented metal auger, that it kind of takes the snow and pushes it to the center and throws it out in one swift motion, which is supposed to be more efficient and help on battery life and supposed to help make it easier to go through the snow. So they claim that this snow blower on one charge will clear about 12 parking spaces. And that's between four and six inches of snow depth and it also depends on the consistency of the snow if it's wet heavy snow if it's dry powdery snow so there's a lot of factors in that too so that's going to vary on how much you're going to be able to get done with the snow but we'll find out because we're going to take it out and blow some snow with it and we're going to see how many you know cars it'll it'll do we got parking lots next door to us 
So when we get some snow, we're gonna go out there with a fully charged battery and we're gonna blow snow until this thing dies. And then we're gonna look and see how much. And of course, we'll measure the snow. Hopefully we'll get about four to six inches so we can try it. But that's what they claim. And because it's got the metal auger, it's supposed to help go through hard, crusty snow, where some of the other brands with the rubber might have a hard time doing that. So that's the idea behind the metal auger. And then we'll see how, how easy it is to push through the heavy snow. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. So here's our control panel. It's pretty simple. There's only three things on here. And this is your eco mode to preserve the battery life. So we've got about four inches of light powdery snow out there. So I'm gonna run it in eco mode. We're gonna run this thing until the battery's dead. And we're gonna see how much it, it, uh, it blows. So all you do is you pull the lever back, the lights will come on and the lights stay on the whole time. You can't turn the lights off. And then you push the button, the blue button. You hear it? Now it's running. And when you let go of the lever, it stops, and then after a second or two, the lights will shut off by themselves, see? So all we have to do now is just go out and see how much snow this thing will blow. So we're gonna see how much of this parking lot we can do here. We got this big parking lot. And what I'm gonna do first is, I wanna see how far it's gonna throw it, so I'm gonna have to shoot all the way up. And then I'm gonna kinda kick the chute down and try to get the snow to pile up to the row next to me and get it deeper and deeper so we could see how this thing will work in deep snow. Cause I wish I had about eight inches of snow to blow but we only got about four, but we're gonna pile it up and see. So, we're ready to go. Let's blow, rock and snow blow. When the battery's dead, it'll start beeping. See, it's letting you know. Battery's dead, and it just stops. It just shuts down. And when I hit the button, see, we did all this in 20 minutes. Now, it did plug up on me that one time, and that's because I was feeding it too fast. So, you know, you gotta remember, every tool has its limitations and you gotta find out what the limitations are. It cleared right down. 
I'm really impressed for a battery powered tool how well it worked. So this would be perfect for somebody that doesn't have a lot to do, a lot of snowboarding to do. It's very quiet. I like that it was quiet. And I really didn't have to push on it that hard. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a workout, you know. But I didn't really have to push or struggle. You know, it didn't pull itself along, but it wasn't too bad to push on. So I cleaned out all the snow, and that's what you're going to want to do if it's full of snow in here. You're not going to want to park it full of snow. That's a bad idea. That's how you wreck stuff. So let's just take a look and see, you know, that 20 minutes of using it, how much wear it put on it. Now I did hear it hit a couple of things. There must have been some rocks in that parking lot. But, you know, it's got a metal auger on it. It's not rubber pedals. Yeah. Decent little machine. I'll tell you, it was cold out there. I was about, my fingers, I thought I was gonna get frostbite. I'm like, I wish this stupid battery would hurry up and run out of juice, I'm freezing. I, Felt like aqua lung out there, that snot's running down my nose. So, this is a good little snow blower for someone that doesn't have a lot to do, doesn't want a mess with gasoline and stinking like gasoline after you run one of these things. You know, sometimes you come in and you smell like that two stroke gas or you smell like exhaust fumes. It's quiet. And you know it's always going to start as long as you got the battery charged. So yeah, it's perfect for somebody, like I said, that doesn't have a lot to do. If you want more information on this snowblower, go to Toro's website or go to your uh, nearby Toro dealer. Check one out. It's a little pricey, but you know what? You get what you pay for. You want crap, go buy EasyWorks. And there's your dinner. Toro Power Clear E 